This is Roger with Crosscut in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It's a 2004 Ford F-350 crew cab, long bed, single rear wheel, 6.0 turbo diesel, four wheel drive, um, King Ranch, highest trim level. Um, obviously it's got a lift, um, has a uh, extra toolbox with a uh, uh, secondary fuel tank on it. Um, very nice truck, has 186,070 miles. Um, it was sold to us by uh, as a new car dealer trade in Dallas, Texas. It was also sold, which is very unusual, on a yellow light. You can sell them red light, green light, yellow light. It would have been green light, I'm told, except for the fact that it's tuned. Um, it has a lift and it has no catalytic converter uh, for obvious reasons. We all diesel guys know why. Um, so therefore, they can't run it on a green light. They, they're not allowed to. Um, but a yellow light is mechanically guaranteed over $600. So if there's was up to $600 in problems, um, I would have no way to go. But if it was over $600, they'd have to pay for it. They'd have to pay for the shipping here. They'd have to get me out of it. So they were very confident in this vehicle when they sold it to us. When we got it here, it had a cracked windshield, which I knew about before it left there. We replaced the windshield. The armrest, typical King Ranch armrest on the driver's side was kind of ratty. So uh, we had that recovered. And other than that, it's exactly as we bought it. Um, really nice truck. Um, put about 20 miles on it. Took down I-10 yesterday. Um, hauling ass for a lift with these tires on it uh, you're usually all over the place real floaty not this one whoever did the work on this front end and the lift did a nice job because I'm used to just pointing these things and not really driving them and this one you're actually driving um, when I get them here I always drive them in that bay and there's a four boat post uh, drive up uh, lift we put them up in the air pressure spray the undercarriage let it sit overnight dry out and look at the ground, look under the truck and see if any, anything's leaking. Uh, we saw nothing, uh, which is another good sign. Um, runs great. In a minute, we'll go on a ride. Um, and uh, I'll actually open the hood, take the cap off, look for a blow by and stuff like that. Um, everything that we know about this truck, you will know by the end of this video and by reading our ad. No secrets, uh, no drama, nothing. Um, if we do this correctly, you'll know everything that we know. Um, when it shows up at your vehicle, at your place, if you're going to pick it up and ship, if you're going to have it shipped to you, then you will uh, say, wow, it's better than they even said on the video and in the ad. Um, if we do it wrong, we BS. There's a little ding right here. It's hard to see, but it's there. Um, if we do it wrong and we hype it or we BS and exaggerate, then we have problems internet's not very forgiving so if there's a problem and we know about it you will know about it uh the internet's also a very forgiving place in that if there's a problem there's definitely somebody you can deal with the problem out there looking at this truck um so uh if we do it right that guy will be there to buy it because he's a mechanic or an expert or whatever on the subject that i'm telling you about um bottom line is uh, there's your remote lock. That's unlock. That's lock. Boom. Unlock. All right, let me get it fired up. Even though it's about 10 in the morning, it's going to get warm here, so I want some AC. All right, let the glow plugs warm up. Boom. That's a nice cold start, by the way. Um, hasn't been started all night, so there you go. Um, let's see, open the hood. Before we go into the hood, I'll show you. This is the invoice for the uh, windshield, $225 for the windshield. This will all be scanned into our uh, into the ad for this. You'll be able to see this stuff. This is from Poncho's Upholstery. He did the armrest. This is for another vehicle, but the bottom one's for the armrest. Uh, ba -ba -ba. And by the way, that's with real King Ranch leather. Uh, we had some, and so I brought it to him. When he did it uh here's the auto check there's your vin ba, 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 ba. it says left 83004 left rear accident minor um ba, 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 ba. that's what that says no odometer issues it says here so five months after he bought it somebody probably bumped into him 
um, left rear. We didn't see any paintwork or anything, so it was probably just the bumper that was replaced. It says slight damage reported. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. There you go there. You got your King Ranch mats and everything. Let me uh, do the window, 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 window. Let's see, do the seat, forward, back, up, down, tilt up and down, rear up and down, heated seat on and off. We'll do the mirrors, out, in, down, up, other side, out, in, up, and down, tilt wheel, bum, bum, bum. I always do this stuff, yeah, we do have a those are the pedals power pedals up and down I always do this stuff because uh, I want to make sure that everything I do know one thing that's annoying is that the radio is stuck on high volume and you can't adjust it but I would say that whoever's buying this truck is definitely going to take it and put in something Bluetooth so there's no point in putting a factory radio in it um, there's your uh, Ford stamp on the fender, so you have an original fender. Um, aftermarket airbox. Ford stamp here on this fender, so you have an original fender. And there's your Ford stamp on the hood, so all the front end parts are original. No blow by at all. Um, I mean, it's kind of obvious. This truck was really baby, really well taken care of. And based on my ride in it yesterday, um, whoever did the uh, lift did a nice job. Very nice job. There's all your boom, boom. Seat, uh, heated seat on, that's on and that's off. Seat forward, seat back. We'll go, let's go up first. That's up, and that's down. Tilt forward, tilt back, tilt up, tilt down. You have a uh, spare tire lock key and you have a wheel lock key and a manual. King Ranch mats. This is a really nice truck. Very nice. Alrighty then. Boom. Got the King Ranch mats in the back also. Very unusual that they haven't been stolen. Um, you have a toolbox, and then you've got a fuel tank here, and it looks like it's gravity fed. I don't see any pumps or any switches in the interior, so that's probably that. Okay. All right, let me hop in this guy. Ugh. That's already getting warm. Already getting warm. I got a seatbelt on. All right, AC on. All right, let's see. Now, just to show you what I'm talking about with the radio, turn it on. It's, see the volume control? It's not very dependable. So, and I, that's junk anyway. That radio's junk. I hate those old radios and Fords. Anyway, there's your back window, back glass. And almost everyone's going to want a USB and a Bluetooth and everything, so I'm sure that radio's the first thing that's going to leave by the next owner. So there's no point in dealing with it. There's your toe on and off. Off right there. Go to neutral. Going to go to four low. Four by four, low range shows up, right? go drive this is in four low and that is definitely four low and then we're gonna go backwards we're gonna be listening for parking sensors there they are so there's the parking sensors put it in neutral now we're gonna go to four high now we're in four high all right drive Reverse and four high. Boom. Perfect. All right. Neutral. 
back to two-wheel drive. Now we're gonna go for a ride. All right, you gotta listen to this now, all right? If you're gonna drive this home from Tucson, you're gonna pay the following. You're gonna pay your state tax rate, whatever the, that is, plus our city tax of 2.7% and a $250 dock fee. Now, if you're an Arizona resident, we're going to add four or 50 to every deal, no, no matter what. Why? Because we have to get a catalytic converter installed. It's the law in Arizona and it will get done, okay? Um, so that'll add 450. If you're from out of state and you want a cat, let us know at the time of purchase uh, and uh, we can add a cat for 450. We'll get that done for you. Um, if you are gonna pay by wire and ship out of state, um, all you're gonna pay is agreed upon price and that's it. There'll be no tax, no dock fee, nothing. Just let us know if we should add 450 to the cat. If you're from California, it's a very bad idea not to get the cat for 450 because if you do it in California, you have to get a California cat, okay? And if you get a California cat, um, they're very expensive. Whereas if you get one installed in Arizona, we document that it was done in Arizona, uh, they call it a 49 state cat. Um, that's okay for emissions in California for now. I mean, they change the rules every 10 minutes there, but it's been that way forever. It still is, but uh, I recommend highly you get it done here. Um, unless you know somebody or you got a trick, um, uh, you don't want to get it to California and go, oh my God, I'm going to have to pay $2,900 to do this when I could have done it for $450 in Tucson. Um, anyway, that's my speech. Uh, but, but shipping. Uh, if you need help with shipping, let me know early in the transaction. I'm happy to do it for you. We can roll the shipping price into the price of the vehicle so you make one payment. Um, but you're welcome to do it yourself if you'd like. We just obviously you want to get this truck as fast as possible. It's a lot of money. Nice truck. It's fun. Summertime. Pull a lot of stuff with it. Um, anyway, that's that. Deposits $500. Once we have an agreed upon price, please get your deposit in. Very uh, uh, straight, clean vehicles like this, uh, especially in this condition. Obviously, it's tuned, by the way, because you can't have no check engine light with no cat so it is tuned um, and obviously trucks like this in this condition do not grow on trees and people will be all over this so get your deposit in um, I wouldn't delay if you're interested in it get it get the deposit in um, otherwise you may be in for some drama when you get home after to talk to your wife about it and find out it's been sold and paid for and shipped already uh, we have a guy named Kyle in uh, San Diego who's bought I don't know he's on 13 vehicles from us. That guy's so good at our process now that he can buy a vehicle, pay for it, and have a shipper in our front yard about the same time we know it's sold. <laughs> so um, it's it's a really easy process, uh, you know, but uh, if you need help, let me know. By the way, this is uh, where the cops are right here. And right on this, we just got off of Prince Road on I-10 and now we're, uh, going by Prince Road right now and oh look there's a cop right there yeah. these guys I mean they just live right here it's crazy um, there's another one another one god dang I'm gonna put the camera down because he's actually paying attention huh very interesting anyway uh, la, 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 what else Last part of every video, I said the same thing every single time, and I will this time. We don't have salesmen, so you, commissions aren't part of what you're paying for. We don't have a fancy location. You saw what we rolled out of. Our uncle owns that property. He charges us a dollar a year, and he collects it because he has to for tax purposes to write off the loss. <laughs> so our overhead's pretty low, and it's just me and my brother, and that's it, okay? So our payroll's low. Um, we also don't have, uh, you know, employees serving scones and lattes and finger foods like they have at the auto mall, okay? All that stuff costs them money and you pay for it when you buy from them. You don't uh, pay for it when you buy from us because we don't have it, okay? Um, they also know at the auto mall, when they sell you a truck or a car or whatever and it breaks, they have to fix it because they just crushed you like a tin can. The least they can do is fix your vehicle. So they build... $600 to $800 in a deal just for that. 
Um, and if you come back and they can't fix it with that much money, they just buy it back from you and sell it to the next guy for the same thing. They don't even fix it. That's what they do, okay? We don't do what they do. We give you all your savings up front so that you can be the owner on day one and fix your truck or your car or your van or whatever you bought from us with the money you saved, all right? Um, if I were buying a vehicle, I'd want to save money up front also, especially when you have a truck like this with no blow by in this condition, of course you want the money up front. Um, we would love to charge an extra two or $3,000 a vehicle, but then we would have vehicles stacked up like cordwood at our location, and uh, we're not car collectors, we're car sellers, okay? So keeping the price low because we can helps us and helps you. But you have to know that everything, that truck right there, that car right there, everything drive will break. It's really when. Well, we're not Nostradamus, okay? We don't know when. We don't know when this thing's gonna decide to have an injector issue or that truck is going to have a battery problem or whatever. Uh, we just know that eventually everything breaks and when is the point. Well, we're giving you all the money savings up front um, on this vehicle. So I don't think that it's a big deal for you to fix your vehicle when it breaks. So if it breaks on day one, regardless of whether it's a window motor or an injector or whatever, you're fixing it with your money. Um, if that's not okay, um, add $2,000 to our negotiated price and you can have some warranty. <laughs> but I wouldn't do that because this truck is fantastic. All right, and all the evidence is very, very clear that it's a great truck. However, like I said, we don't know when, well, parts are gonna decide that today's its last day, right? All right, so we have the tough love speech. I'm done with it. This is a great truck. It's ice cold in here. It feels great. Um, for a big truck with a lift, it has a beautiful ride, which is really strange. Um, anyway, these videos, uh, our GoPro that I'm using right now, could only be um, 17 minutes and 38 seconds is what the card allows. We're almost there. Uh, almost back to the shop, but when this video ends, I didn't hit a hit a building or wreck or whatever. It just ends at 17:38, so no worries. We're at like 17:22 right now, and almost back. Anyway, Mexico is right there if you want to know. <laughs> We're right there, and uh, a couple days is going to be bedlam at the border. Terrible. Anyway, I think that's it.